What's up everybody, my name is Matt and it has been way too long since I've had my own room for making videos. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I had a game room, we moved to a new house and this room had to be finished out. And this room was a huge project. So we moved back at the beginning of June and I thought to myself, if I really hustle, I could get this room done by the Steam Summer Sale in July. And yet here I am at the end of September, halfway to the Steam Winter Sale, barely moving my stuff in. And this room still isn't 100% done. I still got a couple things to do here and there. But anyway, I know since I've moved, I haven't had a consistent upload schedule. And I know I don't have to apologize for that, but I still feel bad. But I am excited to start making some good memories in this room. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my desk set up. All right, I got a bunch of stuff all ready to set up, but I did have to pack a few things in the garage. And while I was working on this room, there wasn't always a door here. So when I was working on all the drywall, all the joints and sanding them down and all that, it was just a huge cloud of dust in here. And everything in the garage is pretty much covered in white. So I'm a little afraid to see how everything is in there. Like, see, watch this. That's how, <laughs> that's how the shelf looked before all the dust was on here. Just, oh my gosh, that was so much dust in here. I'm just a little worried because a lot of these boxes, they have this little hole right here so you can pick it up. And that's just a way for dust to get in. So I'm a little worried about my monitors and stuff. Oh, here's one of my chairs. This isn't gonna be good. Oh. Of course, it couldn't be on like the fake leather one. It had to be on the fabric one. You figure out how to clean that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't even come out. Oh. All right, let's see if these monitors look okay. Doesn't look too bad. All right, the front looks perfect. The back just has a little tiny bit of dust, but not bad. Okay, let's check the other one. All right, looks pretty much the same. I was so worried, I was just imagining all these little holes just being caked full of dust in there, but nah, they're pretty good. Honestly, the monitor that I was using inside has more dust on it than the ones that were in the boxes. All right, this setup's gonna be a beast. I have two Acer 24 inch 144 hertz monitors. I have two 27 inch 240 hertz LG Ultra Gear monitors. And I have four adjustable monitor arms. You may already know that I like my desk set up for two people, that way we can have side-by-side -side multiplayer, but I'm still experimenting with how I have the monitors set up. So one monitor for each person works fine, but I really like having two monitors and I really don't like having a non-symmetrical setup. So today I'm gonna to try something I saw somebody else do and that is having two regular landscape monitors in the middle and two portrait monitors on the outside. So let's do it. All right, so I got all of the monitors mounted. Um, I went ahead and sat at each side of the desk to make sure they were all in a good position. And then I tried to make everything as symmetrical as possible. It's not perfect, but it's a good start for now. But now I'm realizing that I don't really have space to put the PCs on the sides now. I wanted them up here to showcase them, but I'm gonna have to find another solution for the PCs other than just throwing them on the floor or on the side. But anyway, I'm gonna keep on trucking. Okay, everything is plugged in, set up, everything is working. No cable management today, that'll be another day. So there it is, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. You know, it's looking a little rough with all the cables everywhere, but it's just day one. We have our two PCs running. There's that one and there's the other one. And each PC has its own portrait and landscape monitor. And this is the first time I've used a portrait monitor. Uh, at first I thought, you know, it'd be weird to have a web page all tall and skinny opened up like that. But now I, I started messing around with it a little bit. I'm like, okay, I could have my game over here full screen, but over here, as I have it set up, I realized you can kind of split it. And this is great because it's almost like having two screens on the side and it's big enough to where, you know, if you go to a website or something, it's the whole site. It's not like 
you know, scrunched up and missing icons or anything like that. So yeah, I think I might really like having a portrait monitor. I also wanted to address this big gap in between these monitors. And I just sat at both sides of the desk and made sure I had enough room, you know, to play games and everything was at a comfortable height and position. And that's just where they ended up. So I didn't wanna push these monitors any closer together or else I feel like if you were playing a game, you'd be looking sideways the whole time straining your neck. And even though this desk is huge, it only takes up a small part of this room. So I still got plenty of space to set up a workbench or table or something for tech reviews and building stuff. The only real downside is that there's not a closet in this room like my last one. So I'm gonna have to find a way to nicely organize everything over there. And I almost forgot to show you it with the lights off. All right, so here we go. There it is. And I still have some work to do on the lights. I just worked with what I had for now. I would like to get more lights facing down like in the keyboard area like I had in my last setup. I just need a do LED strips and all that. I wasn't doing all that today. I have my old Bluetooth lights here. These work all right, but after a couple months, they always burn out on me. So I did get a few uh, Philips Hue lights back here. And although these cost a lot more, I'm hoping they're gonna be a little more dependable than my other lights. And the plan is eventually to get more Philips Hue lights in here. That way I could get rid of those other ones that just die on me because lights are important. But yeah, for day one, I think the lights look all right. So I'm really excited to start using this room. I'm excited to start making videos on a regular basis again. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.